Hello and welcome to my ChatGPT Plus review. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a couple quick examples along with talking about the pros and cons as well as if the ChatGPT Plus is worth using. Let's get started. So in case you're not familiar with ChatGPT Plus, it costs $20 per month. And here are going to be the main perks, which at the end I will address. Availability when the demand is high, faster response speed, and priority access to new features. So when it comes to faster response speed, what it means is that anytime you create something and you hit enter like this, it's going to immediately start creating, which is great. I've talked about this multiple times. That's why I'm going to keep talking through this. There's been many times in the past where you go to use the free version. And unfortunately, I'd have to walk away from my computer, come back because the demand is host is just so high where it slows down. And with this, you'll notice it just creates right off the bat a lot of content. Okay, and it's going for a while. So what I'm going to do is just let it continue and then I'll uh, stop and come back to it. So something that I have noticed is that when it goes to create content, I feel like it writes so much more. Like this isn't described in the benefits of using chat GPT plus, but either way, as you can see here, I talked about writing an email with the subject line of the case against AI copywriting tools. Talk about why you want to use them, why you might not want to use them. And then at the end, add a call to action where subscribers can click a link. So it talks about these on the one hand and then on the other hand. So like the pros and cons of where does it leave us? Should we abandon it? The truth is somewhere in the middle. But if you're interested in learning more about the case against AI copywriting tools, here's going to be the call to action exactly as we were looking for. So something else, there's been questions about, is there a quality increase at all? And from what I've seen, there's been no decrease in quality, which is always great. So in my opinion, something I've, I've noticed before is that the quality has always been great. So it's either at the same great level or it's increased a little bit. It's really hard to say, you know, maybe after more usages, but something I have noticed is that a lot of the content seems to be stretched out. You know, maybe it's just the specific question or prompts I've been putting in, but overall, uh, that's an example of the content and how quickly you can create it. Let's do one more very quickly. All right, so write a social media rant post. Talk about why chronic complaining is such a bad thing. And of course, I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it's funny how I put rant and it starts off with uh. This is great. You know, it, it understands what we're talking about, but I do want to let it run so you can see the speed of this in terms of when you're creating content. And uh, I will actually pause it here and then I'll continue on once it's done. It's funny how it's like a rant, you know, based on other rants, but I'm going to keep this here. You can pause it in case you want to check out the quality of this. But as you're going to see, there's a good amount of content. And not only that, it does create it very quickly instead of waiting around. So I don't need to do too many examples. The speed is one of the biggest things, which you're obviously going to see in terms of being free versus the plus. But what I want to do is click on this and talk about the pros and cons. Ironically enough, these are going to be the pros, okay? So the availability when demand is high, in case you've ever seen it with the free version, there's usually like a box up at top where it says like our demand is extremely high and you have to wait, which is annoying, you know, so that's going to be one thing. So with the pros, faster response speed, as you can see, it just runs right through it. immediately once you hit enter or go, it just starts creating it. So priority access to new features. There hasn't been any new features since I've gotten this, but usually what that means uh, is that when software comes out with new features, they roll it out to the paid users first, and then sometimes it'll go to the free users after, or sometimes it will just stay with the paid accounts. I don't know how it's going to be. I can't speak with them. We haven't seen that yet, but usually, generally speaking, for a lot of software tools, that's kind of how it works. So I also put question mark by a great quality uh, question mark and more content question mark. As we've seen, I feel like it churns out a lot more content with each specific prompt that you use. I don't know if there is a quality increase. It doesn't say anything about that, but it's always still been great, which is always good. Then on the other hand, we have the cons and there's really not a whole lot. Obviously we have free versus paid. Some people can see that as a bad thing, but I think the one con here is it could be a little bit more features. I know being able to use it when demand is high is a big deal and faster response speed. Like it'd be nice if there could be a little bit more edge or you know, benefits to this, that's going to be different for everyone else, but maybe some nice features that you only get when it comes to the plus version, you know, something that's going to really make that $20 a month really worth it. I think it is in the first place, but let me discuss that as well. Not too many uh, dislikes here, but is chat GPT plus worth using? Here are the three things that I've come up with. If you can like check off all these, then you're probably going to want to use it. So 
If you don't mind paying $20 per month, you know, if that's not a big deal to you, you can check that box off, you know, probably going to be worth it for you. If you don't like waiting around to use chat GPT, you can check off that box as well. Like you're not going to have to worry about that box coming up and saying we have extremely high demand. You're going to have to wait and so on and so forth. And if you just want to be able to create faster content, not only when it comes to writing your prompts and letting it roll, but just keep being able to do that, knowing the fact that you don't have to wait around because there's high demand. If you can check that off as well, if you can say yes, probably to at least two of those three things, then yeah, it's probably going to be worth it specifically for you. I know some people just like using the free version. Some people want the upgrade to be able to get those extra perks. And that's really going to be what it comes down to, in my opinion. So if you can say yes to most of those things, then it's probably going to be worth using for you. So that's my very quick chat GPT plus review. Hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.